This past weekend, my husband and I took our oldest son out for what we like to call like their ring ceremony. Um, I'll talk more about that in a later video. But we decided to do some shopping and we went to Target and Goodwill and and then we went to Ollie's and then we went to an antique store. So I'm going to show you what we got. I love their dollar spot area right up front. I got this cute little sign to put out in the greenhouse. I also got this really pretty rug. It's going to go on our side deck. I just finished putting a railing on our deck and it's going to be painted white and this is going to look really nice out there. I got a mug. This was from Hearth and Home. I thought it would look really cute with all the other mugs um, that I've gotten recently. I kind of have a mug thing with buying mugs. I like buying mugs for <laughs> certain things. I like buying different looking mugs. Um, so this was at Target. And then this was in the dollar spot. And I really wish I had a couple more of these. Um, so this little mirror. I'm going to go ahead and probably stick that out in the shop. Um, or I might even hang it in our bathroom. I thought it would be awfully cute. I also got this welcome chalkboard, which I I the last time I was there, but decided not to get that. And so this, I'm not exactly sure where it's going to go, but I thought it would be a really nice um, addition to the kitchen or even to the little front porch area that you first walk into, maybe have a verse of the day on it or something. When my son and I went to an antique store this weekend, I picked up a few things. This really cute basket for $3. Um, this cute little copper teapot. I think I'm probably going to put a plant in that. And this apron book. It was really cute. Um, I think this was also $3. This is just the neatest thing. Um, it has all sorts of patterns, how to make aprons, and history of aprons, different aprons that people have worn over the ages. It just was really, really neat. So, yeah. This has to be added to my homemaking library. It's quite cute. So now is our Goodwill haul from when my son and I had his weekend with mom and dad. Um, here are some books that we got. He likes reading Artemis Fowl. We also are John Piper fans and got that to, as a read aloud or for the boys to read. Um, this one looked really neat about um, eight women in the underground church and their stories of faith. So that looked really interesting from the Voice of the Martyrs. Um, I have one of John Eldridge's, and this one I don't have. And this would be good to add to our family library for the young men in my family now. My boys are not very little, and so I'm trying to think of books that would help them in the years to come. Um, speaking of when my boys were little, this was the first devotional I did with my youngest, um, and I had to get a second copy. I just saw that and thought... I need to have another copy of those um, on our family bookshelf. And then over here are some things I picked up at Goodwill. Um, this is a little garlic jar. I actually picked this up for a friend of mine who likes white pottery just as much as I do. So if you're watching, you might know who you are. Um, and then a handmade pottery mug. Pottery mugs are the one weakness I seem to have lately at Goodwill stores. Um, well, some of them are just really, really cute, like this one. And then I got this handmade pottery candle holder. It almost looked like it had the same initials as the one who did the mug. So whoever made this, I love it. You did a great job. Now I have two of your pieces. I would love one day to make my own little candle holder and... A mug. It's just one of those things on my bucket list that I just absolutely would love to do. I also got my daughter a mug. It has crowns on it. I got this cute. Oh, this was at. Oh, this was at Dollar General. I get ahead of myself and I get things mixed up already. And this little chicken was at Dollar General. I haven't been to Dollar General in months, 
and he was really cute, I thought, for something, a scrubby or even some tea bags, or even just a cute little succulent would look, would, or a friend would look awfully cute. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with that little rooster or hen, but he's part of my flock now. Um, so those two are from Dollar General, and I don't think I had anything else mixed up in here. The rest of this is from Goodwill. This is a little ceramic shoe um, that's going to go in our china cabinet. I also got a really neat gold tin, um, another gold candlestick holder, and a little heart gold like candle holder. I like to put mints in here and little things like that sleep on our table or these are also perfect in your bathroom to put your earrings and bobby pins and hair things in and then I got I picked up this purse I thought it was really cute it's kind of like a saddle back style um, a leather purse and a new little coin purse not sure if I will keep those or if they will be redesigned um, for our shop and then I got a salt lamp I always wanted a salt lamp so I was really excited to find one there for five dollars I thought I plugged it in. They said it, it looked like it worked just fine. I thought that would be perfect to add to our living room next to one of our cozy corners.